Honestly, I was just messing around in Photoshop and I created something like this. It looked pretty cool, so I thought why not make a tutorial about it. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thruval here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original image that we are going to use. Actually we will also use this image, uh, this parrot image and this bird image. Now all images are from daventart.com and download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now let's focus on the original image. First of all I'm gonna double click and unlock this. Now we have to cut her out from the background so I'm gonna go and select my quick selection tool and I will just simply make a selection of her real quick. It's a grey background, the best of the best. Now I selected more than I needed. So I'm gonna go and select this minus option and then I will remove this selection which I don't need. And also a little bit from here. Okay, looks really great. And I wanna add a bit here. So let's go and I'm gonna use my plus option and add that. Perfect. Now once your selection is ready, go and click on this mask icon, this third one here and the background will be gone. Now I'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer from here and select solid color. And in the solid color, I'm gonna use my code F4, F4, F4. Now it's nothing crazy about the code. Uh, I wanted to use white color, but not perfectly white. So a little bit off whitish and hit okay. And put this layer under this layer. So we can see the model is up there. Now I wanna make model a little bit smaller. So as you can see, I have selected the thumbnail, not the mask, the thumbnail, they're different thing. So select model, press control T, then I will hold down my shift key and then I will make her smaller. Not too much smaller, just a little bit. And then I will confirm it from here. I'm gonna select my move tool from here and move her a little bit here. Uh, as you can see, this looks really nice. Now if I zoom in her hair, and this edges here don't look really smooth. So I'm gonna go and select my mask this time and right click and select refine mask. And then I will just simply paint near her hair. Don't do anything, just directly start painting. You don't even have to select the brush. It's default selected. So I'm gonna paint here near her hair where I want it to be smooth. And then also around her belly a little bit. Uh, so it's a bit softer there too. Uh, so now if I zoom in, uh, as you can see, uh, it looks more smoother, uh, original and this one looks nice and hit OK. So the cutout is ready. Now it's time to create the background and to do that I'm gonna go and select this image. So I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select this thing, Ctrl C to copy it. Uh, then I will come back here and then I will go and press Ctrl V to paste it here. Now this uh, layer is here, I'm gonna put it under my model there. So as you can see, we have this background here. Now we will only gonna use this green uh, hills as you can see here. So I'm gonna press Ctrl T and then I will make it bigger. Always hold Shift key whenever you make something bigger or smaller. So uh, it uh, stays in its proportion. So that looks uh, really nice, might make it a bit more smaller. And that looks nice and I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now I want my image to be black and white so I'm gonna go to image adjustment and go and select desaturate. Then make sure that your foreground and background color is black and white. You can click on this little icon here or press D key to make it black and white. Then go to filter and then go and select this filter gallery. And in the filter gallery let me zoom it out a little bit. So in the filter gallery uh, I'm gonna go and select my ch uh, chalk and charcoal option. So it looks nice. Uh, you can adjust it for your taste. So I would like to keep it to minimum. And also in the chalk area, I'm gonna make it 100%, sorry, 20. And the stock pressure seems fine. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm gonna go and hit OK. Now I will go and change its blending mode to vivid light. So where is it? Here. And then change its opacity until it looks uh, natural to me. So yeah, that looks really nice. And now you can always like go and make it bigger and smaller and use whatever the area you need to use. So this looks nice and confirm it. So the background is ready. Let's start working on the model. So select your layer zero uh, here and then press control J to make a copy of it. Make sure you have activated the layer thumbnail, this model here. Then go to filter and again go to filter gallery. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Now in the filter gallery this time I want to go and select poster edges. 
so I'm gonna go and select this one here now this looks uh, really nice uh, but in the edge intensity I would rather make it 2 uh, yeah 2 looks really nice uh, edge thickness is uh, fine I think don't make it too much uh, it looks it doesn't look good so I think 2 3 should be enough and posterization is on number 1 and hit ok now it's time to create the effects so to do that I'm gonna go back and as you can see I still have this background image on here uh, and I'm gonna as you can see press ctrl A to select it uh, Ctrl C to copy come back here Ctrl V and paste it here so the image is ready here and all you have to do is just go and change its blending mode to lighten uh, so since the background is almost white the rest of the area will not be visible uh, and this looks nice but I'm gonna press Ctrl T and then I will rotate it and as you can see this horizon here uh, from sea and the sky so I wanted it to match with her hand so I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more here uh, and put it here something like that and adjust it uh, so that looks really nice and then I'm gonna go and confirm it now for this unnecessary areas you can just simply go and erase it but you can also use layer mask so I'm gonna apply a layer mask uh, select my brush tool from here and go and make sure that my hardness is 0% and my color is black with 100% opacity and then I will uh, slightly remove it from the edges so it looks really softer as you can see I'm painting on my layer mask not the, on the image on the layer mask you have to paint and then I will also remove this portion from here which I don't need uh, and I'll touch a bit here so it blends better or maybe keep it uh, looks really nice so this looks nice now I'm gonna make another copy of this uh, image that we just used so I'm gonna press ctrl J to make a copy of it and then I will select my move tool and put that thing here uh, like this but this time I'm gonna rotate it and I mean press ctrl T and then I will rotate it here like this uh, and use just a little bit portion of it and then confirm it now it's time to add in the Mr. Parrot so let's go and go. this is the Mr. Parrot here I'm gonna press ctrl A, ctrl C, come back here and paste it ctrl V uh, the box will appear just simply hit ok so as you can see Mr. Parrot is looking really nice but we gotta make him smaller so I'm gonna press ctrl T hold my shift key and make him smaller and put him exactly here uh, in the background where he looks really nice and then I'm gonna go and confirm it as you can see here now I want to apply the same filter on the parrot the filter I used on the model so what I will do is the model filter was the exactly last one that I used so I will go here and I will directly go and select this filter gallery so it will apply the filter that I used last time and that way I can automatically apply the same filter on the parrot and now also let's add the birdies uh, so we gonna we don't need this one so I'm gonna go and close this thing no I don't wanna save it uh, we also don't need Mr. Parrot so bye bye and let's go and see here so this is the bird images it is also cut out you don't have to cut it win win uh, so I'm gonna press ctrl A ctrl C come back here and paste it and yes okay now I want these birds to be in the background so I will just simply drag this layer and put it under my model layer so the birds are already in the background and now if you zoom in as you can see there is little white line as you can see because of the mod this thing we used uh, this image we used as the background so you can mask it but let's speed things up and I'm gonna directly erase it with really soft eraser so it blends in nice in the background as you can see now it's gone I did simply erase that part and now it's time to create that orange lighting we create in almost every tutorial so go and select your brush tool here and in the colors I'm gonna go and select something orangish uh, so that looks really nice uh, good orange color then never forget to create a new blank layer from here the second last icon uh, and then I'm gonna make a click and then change its blending mode to screen so as you can see now the lighting looks really nice and I can put it a little bit here uh, also little bit on Mr. Parrot and little bit on her hair so it looks really nice then I will also make a copy of this light I'm gonna press ctrl J and then I will put this light over here but as you can see we have this edge here so I'm gonna select my eraser uh, and erase that part from there so it looks really nice and soft now select my move tool and move it around a little bit here 
So that looks really nice. Now it's time to add in some gradient uh, and before I apply my gradient I'm gonna make sure that my foreground and background colors are black and white. I'm gonna cl I click on this little box here to make them black and white or you can press D key for defaults. Now I'm gonna go and create a new adjustment layer and then I will select gradient and in the gradient I'm gonna select this foreground to transparent. That's why I made sure that my foreground color is black so we have also black color here. Uh, now I'm gonna go and hit OK and change its style to radial uh, and then make it reverse so it's on the outside and then I'm gonna make it a uh, bit softer uh, like that uh, increase my scaling uh, a touch more and then I will hit OK now as you can see you already have this default mask here so I'm gonna select my brush tool uh, use my black color and erase that from here uh, from her face because I don't want that uh, dark tone on her body only on the surrounding area so as you can see white color will bring it back if you wanna bring it back and I'm using black color to remove it from where I don't need it looks nice uh, but it's too strong so I'm gonna go and change the opacity to let's say 40 30 uh, percent yeah that looks really nice now I'm gonna go and create another adjustment layer and then select brightness contrast and in the brightness contrast I'm gonna make my contrast to all the way 100% now it is way too strong I know but now we come back and decrease it a little bit so it looks a bit more natural. So this is a good way to use it and realize like how much contrast do you need. Uh, so that looks nice and you can also decrease the opacity of this lighting so it doesn't overkill. So uh, this looks really nice and now it's time to add in some colors. So to do that I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and then I will select my curves adjustment layer and first of all I will uh, like kick up some shadows from here because since we applied the heavy contrast it's important to do it then I will make it a bit brighter uh, but not from the shadows so I'm gonna bring it down from there so that looks nice then I will go to my reds and then I will add a little bit of reds not too much just a tiny bit amount uh, go to my blues add a tiny bit of a blues uh, not too much and then I will also add tiny teeny tiny amount of yellows uh, and that looks nice. So now if I turn it on and off the look has completely changed. Now as a final step I want to add a little bit of brightness in entire image. So I'm gonna go back to my brightness contrast by double clicking on that and then I will add in a little bit of brightness. Okay that's too much. A little bit less and that's looking good and we are done yes uh, so that was the final step and this is the final output you are looking at so i really hope that you learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button so i can know and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions regarding this video feel free to let me know in the comment section below plus you can click on any of these boxes to check out more of my photoshop effects and you can click on that subscribe button so every time i upload a new video you will get the update Plus, uh, if you click on that subscribe button, it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have more than 80 free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.